Hi there, my name is Stephen Durbach. Uh, I'm an artist who's interested in mechanical things. And the reason I'm interested in mechanical things is because mechanical things are things, processes, behaviors that repeat in time. So it's about repetition really, and repetition is underlies a lot of what I do. And especially repetition that's a little bit irregular. Because that's really what makes the world interesting is irregular repetitions. Some of it might express itself in extreme cases, which you could call chaos, and some are slight irregularities. Our behaviors, for one thing, are repeated events in time where they're not exactly perfectly repeatable. Most of the things that repeat, we may have control over. Some things that repeat, we don't have control over. And that's what makes the world interesting. So I make machines that repeat. I've installed one of these machines about a year ago uh, during the Science Gallery's workshop on perfection. So your organization will have had some exposure to what I do. And when you put out the call for mental, I thought that it really resonates well with me because a lot of my work is about how we think, how our minds work. And uh, I do a lot of drawings in that and a lot of the mechanics allude to how our mind works uh, because of the regularity of our behaviors and also the let's call it chaos of our behavior so what i'd like to do for the um exhibition if of course it gets selected is build a mind a mechanical working model of the mind um, it'll basically encompass some ideas that may even be pertinent to how minds work but it is all about uh, some current thinking actually says chaos is an integral feature how the brain works optimally. And so there will be aspects of chaos in it. And I'm not saying that will necessarily contribute to an optimal working brain, but it will certainly infer something or, or allude to some aspect of our behavior or in our brains that is beyond our control. And a key thing for me is that there is an expectation that we should know our brains, we should know our minds. And I think a lot of our pathologies in our mental situations come about because of this expectation that we should know our minds. Because if we don't, we feel terrible and maybe it leads to some pathological outcome. The other thing which I incorporate into my work are animal motifs. And these are great for a metaphor for how our minds work, again, in, that as in those aspects that you can't know. Our minds are littered, well, let's say the architecture of our brain is littered with remnants of animal DNA that no longer serves the purpose that it served in its animal host hundreds of millions of years ago or tens of millions or tens of thousands of years ago. And now it sits as a resident in our brain, allowing our brain to function pretty well in its current environment. But not perfectly to allude to another idea. So all of these things contribute to how I believe our minds work, the expectations we have on our minds. So I want to build a model of a mind, quite simply put, a mechanical model of a mind. That is my idea.